So we're going to start off with our Red Indian collection. Some really unique pumps, Wayne 60 showcase pumps <clears throat> with the uh, lamp lighter, original lamp lighters. And this is an original McCall Frontenac Products Red Indian sign. Been restored on the this side by a professional restorer. The other side's still original, it's a two-sided sign. And as you see in the video here, some oil racks. Beautiful double red Indian visible pump. GMB uh, curb pump that's got the tower on it with the globe. All these pumps have been done with a urethane paint, um, high gloss, professionally restored, sandblasted and primed epoxy primer and detailed to unbelievable finish. We've been doing this for almost 30 years and sold pumps to all sorts of people and clientele. <clears throat> yes. And in the sale with the extremely rare uh, eco meter pumps, uh, which are just beautifully done. In this video, you're going to see some of the units that are not totally finished. Um, we've got the uh, clock hands still to install on these pumps and the hoses as well. But just a footnote that uh, the one uh, eco meter pump, this was an original McCall Frontenac uh, pump and has the ID tag that reads McCall Frontenac Oil Company Limited. And that's that tag there. So this is a true blue red Indian eco pump. Extremely rare and there's a pair of them in the auction all to be sold. As well as the GMB pumps that are kind of unique. Now I've modified and customized these pumps. We've uh, taken 10 inches out of the base and lowered them. And the one has the tower, as you can see, which is an unusual piece, sight glass. Whereas the other GMB has the five gallon jar on it. Uh, really unique attachment, which is original. And then you have the standard 10 gallon visible along with the stovepipe pump visible. It has the narrow stovepipe and wide base. Then coming into view here, we have a nicely restored twin loopster tank on wheels that would have been out on the island between the pumps with an air meter and a curb pump. And I'm just going to work my way around here. And a lot of people are fooled by uh, individuals that so-called um, hobbyists that might be uh, claiming to be restorers of gas pumps and um, selling reproduction pumps as really restored gas pumps. And they might be restored, but they could be a total reproduction. And in this video, I'll give you an example of what people might think is an original pump. This is a Wayne 800, um, limited edition um, that came from the US. I believe there was only 24 of these made, but it is a full all metal reproduction pump. Um, with some original accessories like the nozzle holder, the nozzle, um, some items. Again, a limited edition, but very easily to fool the general public. Um, I think the value on this pump would probably be, if it was an original pump, 15000 plus, done very nicely. But just keep in mind, this is um, fully reproduction and that'll be noted in our sale. 
And the most rarest of all in the building would be, let's get it back up here a bit, the 1925 Starkey 10 gallon coin operated visible gas pump. Yes, extremely rare. Um, Starkey only made one of these pumps back in 19, or this was the only pump that they produced back in the day. Um, would take a, a silver dollar, gas was 25 cents a gallon, well 19, but then you gotta, don't forget the, the government, they always got to get their bite. And um, the coins would be inserted as you can see, do that. Would take a silver dollar, 50 cent piece, and then a quarter in this insert slot. And if you put any washers, which what they might have done back in the day. Again, um, this pump came to me out of the US um, at, out of a sale that uh, RM had put on and I had purchased it with the advice of Rob Myers. <laughs> and uh, yes, and that's someone calling about the sale and we're just gonna have to let that call go. It'll go to my answering machine. So as you can see, we've got quite a collection of Red Indian uh, pumps, but there's a large variety because we have over 60 gas pumps in the sale. And another very unusual and unique piece is the Wayne 60 twin double showcase original clocks. And this pump came to me um, done in mobile gas. It's also a feature pump in one of the gas pump books. That um, picture was supplied by Glenn Thompson out of Ohio. Um, and we've taken a step further and done a really spectacular restoration on this twin double. And, uh, but that would be it for the extremely rare stuff. Now we're just gonna move over to some common because uh, there's something here for everybody. Um, Little Wayne 100 done in Red Indian from the 1950s. And then we have the drum air meter with uh, some cut down Tokheim 300 pumps and a triple loopster tank. Um, so really make uh, for a unique Red Indian collection. And we're just going to give you a general view of what else is here. Gilmore um, double cylinder clear vision. And I don't do video too often, so I'm going to really try to do this as slow as I can. And make it video friendly and not give anybody a headache. <laughs> and the nice power loop sign that we put together with the uh, triple loopster oil tank. The uh, gas powered Corvette is in the sale, never been run, kind of a limited specialty item. And original shell sign that's been restored and a very unique Harley Davidson one-sided lighted sign and yes that's our stage and TV screen the items we'll be selling on and I'll just do a scan here of the shop Focus.
And then we have a polygas collection, some really unique stuff. Polygas was a uh, oil company <clears throat> that is uh, from the West Coast, California area, Colorado. Yep. And then Canadian company, Bangle Gasoline. And the number four original Bangle sign. And when I say number four, I believe there was six of these signs at one time. There are four and a half known to exist still that we know of. One sign is cut in half. The first sign is uh, sold by auction from Ed Hoysia's sale and went to Ron Carey. And this sign <clears throat> is number four. And how do I know that? Because I sold the number two sign to a gentleman in Oregon at our last sale. And then the number three sign is owned by one of my clients that was restored just as nice as this one by the same restorer. And this sign came to us in very poor shape, but just done beautifully. And that makes it the number four sign that is now available. And along with, we should have up to 500 items in our auction on the Saturday and 500 on the Friday.